Hey fam, welcome into the channel. What we're about to talk about is a bit scary because we're in a triple demic right now with cold, flu, and RSV spreading like wildfire. Hospitals are starting to become overrun um, the ER with these patients having respiratory issues. And now we have this major, major, massive nationwide recall of cold and flu medication in the middle of a tripidemic, in the middle of cold flu RSV season. Um, this is a flashback for sure that we need to stay aware of what exactly is happening, what we are taking and in, ingesting. And in this case, you may not even have to ingest this to come down with what is happening. So what's going on right now is a massive nationwide recall of Robitussin. Yes, Robitussin, the, the cold medicine that most people have in their homes. The things we turn to instead of having to run to the doctor all the time. Well, I'll just take a little dose of this Robitussin. Well, you might want to think twice because it is contaminated. Microbial contamination is the reason for this recall. And with this recall, it's, it's going to be people who won't see it. So please, by all means, share this video out. This is scary and this can be deadly. So what's happening right now is the company Halion, who makes Robitussin and other products, is now recalling two versions of Robitussin. I'm going to show you guys some clips in a few minutes and so you can see the lot numbers and so you can see exactly what is going on. So let me share my screen with you guys. I mean, this is, this is deadly. This is deadly. Let me make sure you can actually see what I have up here for you guys. So it's saying that some Robitussin cold and flu cough syrups recall due to potential contamination. This is cold and flu season that is underway. There are eight lots of Robitussin Honey CF Max Day cough syrup in four ounce and eight ounce bottles in Robitussin Honey CF Max Night Cough Syrup in eight ounce bottles, all for adult use, are impacted by this recall. The recall products carry expiration dates between May 2025 and June 2026. The lot numbers and expiration dates can be found on the Food and Drug Administration's website, but I will also show you that here. So this is what we are <clears throat> this is what we are looking at. The honey severe cough, cold, and uh, flu, sore throat, and also the day and night. This is the adult. So you know what it looks like. And I'm going to show you where you can find the lot numbers on your bottle as well. Microbial contamination, you guys, is, is more than just, oh, you have to ingest this. This is contagious. Microbial um, contamination is basically a fungus. It is a yeast. It is a bacterial. And bacteria is contagious. You can breathe this in. I mean, we all breathe in particles every single day anyway, but especially people who have autoimmune deficiency issues, you could possibly die if you take this. And even if you don't have a compromised immune system, this can still affect you. Um, it says, Immunocompromised individuals can be affected by the potential contamination, including development of fungi, the presence of fungi in the blood, or disseminated fungal infection. 
which can be severe or life-threatening, and that's according to the FDA. So while Halogen has recalled this cold medicine here, the FDA has put out a massive nationwide recall. You know how many people have Robitussin? That's the go-to. You, you, growing up, your mom's, oh, go and take some of that Tussin. So this is what the bottle on the back is going to look like. Look for your lot numbers right here where you see the arrow. It says that those who are not immunocompromised may not develop any life-threatening conditions, but the FDA has made a note that may necessitate medical intervention cannot be completely ruled out. Halion said it has not received any reports of any adverse reactions so far, but urged consumers with recall products to stop using them immediately and return. And you can call their customer service numbers. So again, you guys, this is some serious stuff that's happening. And let me go here. So you see um, this Robitussin right here, adult. Again, day and night time. What is microbial contamination? A microbe has gotten into something that it should not have gotten into. Bacteria has gotten into this medication. Using the affected products can result in a serious medical condition or death. Robitussin Honey CF Max Day Adult. The affected lot number is T10810 with the expiration date of October 31st, 2025. And then Robitussin Honey CF Max Day Adult, the eight ounce. So the first one was the 40 ounce. The second one is the eight ounce, the recall lot numbers. Um, you can see those right here, T08730, T08730. Seven three one, TO3, TO8732, and TO. I need my glasses. TO8730, TO8731, TO8732, TO8733, with the expiration date of May 31st, 2025, and T10808 with the expiration date of September 30th, 2025. Robitussin Honey CF Max Nighttime, the eight ounce adult. The numbers are T087, that's T08740 and T08742. Expiration date of June 30th, 2026. So this can get in your bloodstream. This can um, take up to two weeks to cure and not just to cure, but it could take longer depending on if it has moved throughout your entire body. So please check your cabinets, wherever you store your medication. See if you have that, check for those lot numbers. I had one more that I wanted to share with you guys. Y'all let me know down in the comments, do you take Robitussin? And also, if you know someone that does take Robitussin, please share this video out with them so that they can be aware of it and get that out of their home, depending on the lot numbers. Y'all take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. We got to be careful, you guys. We got to be careful. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only when you be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tony Bikes TV and Homestead.